this is Duke University. So right now we're getting the basic statistics of the tree, what kind of tree it is, how big it is, how tall it is, and that's going to help us basically track how old it is, what condition it is. We have a machine called a clinometer and it helps us tell how tall the tree is. So once we get the general tree characteristics, we start looking at the tree health and tree vigor. So we start off by looking at the health of the trunk. So the sap can be evidence of a bug attacking it or it can just be generally the tree is sapping. You can see right here a squirrel's taken off some of the park for its nest. That doesn't hurt the tree but might be something to notice. All of the places where the tree has come in is where limbs have either fallen off naturally or have been removed before. So we look at those places to see if any fungus has entered that. But this tree looks pretty healthy for a red cedar. Mm -hmm. Once we have all the information of what's here, we can manage our trees more effectively. So we can, it'll save Duke money instead of just responding to people saying, oh, I think that there's a tree fell over here, or there's a limb over here that's fallen. We can go into areas and take care of all the maintenance at once. So it'll save us a lot of money, it'll be more efficient, and it'll also result in healthier trees. If we get to especially smaller trees and shape them while they're young, they'll grow up into better, more healthy trees. So it saves money and creates a more healthy forest. Produced by the Office of Communication Services. Online at communications.hr.duke.edu.